And so we are practically finished on the guitar. Um, apart from one detail that's really, really bothering me. Um, I'll bring you in close. And where, uh, let's get this straight on. To line up the strings over the poles and the pickups uh, has left a gap in the pickup route here. And well, I can't live with that. So essentially I'm gonna have to fabricate some pickup rings to cover that up. Because this is the use what you've got challenge, I will reuse this piece of oak floorboard for the task. It's more than uh, big enough for the task. This was last seen making a uh, sort of Telecaster style pickup plate, control plate uh, for the previous guitar. Let's go uh, get that off so we can uh, get the rest of it. <laughs> So I need to remove the old finish from the side and square off the top. Uh, if you're following along at home, you need to uh, buy a piece of wood that's already square. Here we go. To use, okay. So that's our half centimeter at that end. That's lined up with the holes. So that goes to so another half centimeter this end the existing outline where the screw holes are although the pickup mounting ones are the only really important ones so do I just make a chunkier one or do I want some sort of uh, rounded edges So my plan is to do it once, then slice down the middle of here. Then we'll get two exactly the same. It'll also make it easier to work with and less likely to break when I uh, cut out the centerpiece. And here we're in very much, I wish I had a drill press territory. I'm just uh, trying to work out which drill bit size will best represent the corners. Now, if I hadn't blown up my uh, scroll saw, <laughs> I could use that. Uh, but now I've got to go old school and uh, use a hand saw. <sighs> Smooth. Look at that nice square hole. <laughs> Um, okay, well, I would just uh, finesse that now. <laughs> right, well, if this was happening regularly, I'd have a template, but to get this edge square, I uh, clamped a square to it. And now for the most terrifying bit, where I have to saw to split it in half to make two. My bandsaw is not great, so it, but if I take it slowly, I assume it's going to work all right. Well, I have to find my bandsaw first. It's under somewhere. Way less than perfect. The um, I'd left a fine blade on there rather than the ripping one. So, uh, yeah, sanding. So, remember that belt sander I was too lazy to get out yesterday? <laughs> it, it's out today. Um, and so I can get these flat without taking my fingers off, I'm going to try using some double-sided sticky tape on a bigger piece of wood. And then I'm going to pull this off onto my feet. And hopefully... Hopefully that's going to keep them on. This stuff is normally impossible to remove, so we'll see how it goes. Right, because this is so messed up, I've made sure this is flat. 
<laughs> and I use a spirit level on top of it to make sure the whole piece is uh, somewhat flat. Right, then we're now flat. This bit here was a tiny bit of filler because I didn't want to go too any further, but that should be face down. Um, but it held well. I need to now round the corners over. So, accidental tip of the day. When I was trying to fill this gap here with super glue, I used some super glue accelerator, and that melts the glue on this double-sided tape. So uh, they came off easily. <laughs> All right. I'm taping them together so I can round off the ends and have them match. And so they're shaped. Uh, I'm going to round off the edges a bit. Uh, they're also massive and unwieldy, but that's just a consequence of the coverage and uh, the materials I've used. So let's drill some holes in that I'll pick up some place. I've decided to go with the Crimson Qatar's brown stain, which you can't really see there, but. Uh, <laughs> brown stain <laughs> doesn't sound very attractive but it's actually one of my favorite of their stains um, quite handy on furniture too right let's get these browned up it's uh, in this bottle because the stain shots come in tiny little really concentrated uh, amounts so I've previously diluted this for something else I'm pretty sure this isn't how to do it <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing And here ends the story. After staining, I've uh, applied two um, applications of the Crimson Qatar's High Beard Oil, uh, just because I had it and no other specific reason. Uh, after that, I need to fill the old screw holes and then get the things fitted. Job's a good one. And there we go. And that's how I, at least, made a couple of pickup rings for this guitar. The pickups, the Iron Gear Blues Driver and the Iron Gear Dirty Talk, are going to get a separate video uh, by way of a sound demo and looking at the whole guitar. So uh, tune in for that. However, before that, I may begin my Great Guitar Build Off 2021 entry uh, whilst I sort out my sound card to actually record. Bye.